Hey, what's up, everybody? This is like the 20th millionth video I've done that I haven't posted on YouTube. I don't know if I'll download this or not. I haven't downloaded the last 20, so I probably won't download this one either. Every time I come to this river, I think about how beautiful it is and how real it is. How God gave us such a wonderful creation to live on. Are we really, really willing to mess that all up for AI? Are we really willing to just, look at this beautiful dog. Look at this beautiful dog. Wonderful creation that God gave me and gave us. Wonderful companion. Unconditional. Unconditional love. And we're really, really, really willing to sacrifice all that for AI and for this digital world I wish Donald Trump and mm. some of the Congress members and Senate and stuff would actually come to a river by themselves without getting drunk or high and actually sit and think about what we have right now. Are you really willing to lose? Everything that God gave us for robots because that's what's going to happen. You better choose wisely, government. You better choose life. Because God's going to hold our nations accountable for the decisions that they make. And your citizens are hoping and praying that you make the right choices. Choose life. <sighs> Thank God every day that you wake up and this is still here. Because it could be gone, the blink of an eye. And God doesn't want to do what he's getting ready to do here soon in tribulation. But he has to do it because nobody's listening. Nobody in our government or nations are listening. They're too busy squabbling over things that don't matter, materialistic things of this world, and you're going to lose everything that God gave us. Over what you think is wisdom and technology. Wisdom and technology is nothing. Wisdom in Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is everything. We continue 
to infect our children and people with digital world that means nothing. God already gave us a world. Why are we running from it? Why are why is what God gave us not enough? Spend our time playing video games where we shoot zombies and shoot each other. When we should be spending our time with each other and loving each other. And we wonder why all this technology from the beginning was supposed to connect us. In reality, this all this technology has disconnected us. We infect our souls with fake worlds. And we have a beautiful reality right here to enjoy that God gave us. Choose life. Last two things I'm going to say is <clears throat> abortion is horrible, and God is crying and He is angry about abortion. I had a guy at work tell me, I'm not going to believe in a God that would bash a baby's skull into the ground. And I'm sitting there thinking, we do that every day. Thousands and thousands and thousands of babies we abort every single day in America. So it's okay for us to do it, but it's not okay for God to do it. And my mama told me once when I was being a spoiled little brat when I was a kid, I brought you into this world and I can take you out. God's the creator of this universe. and He can do the same thing. And he's God. So what do we have the right to say that he can't do what he wants to do for whatever he reason he wants to do it? There's consequences for the choices we make in this world. There's consequences for abortion. There's consequences for sleeping with other men like they are women. Mm-hmm. consequences for that the last thing I want to say is are you reading the Bible to build your relationship with Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach or are you reading the Bible to shove it in other people's faces are you reading the Bible in Greek Hebrew and Latin to be oh so righteous and to be right are you reading the Bible because you love Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach Do you love Jesus because you love him? Or do you love him because you're afraid of going to hell? That's why a relationship with Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, is so important. Because you find love in a relationship and friendship with our Creator. There is no love in the law. Because... If you're so worried about living by the law because you're so worried about going to hell, you lose out on the loving friendship and grace that God has for us. So again, choose life. Choose to love Jesus Christ because you love him. Not merely just because you're afraid of going to hell.